Car lease buyouts are increasingly attractive, but dang, all the extra unlawful fees. I said that right. They often violate federal law. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. If you're not here to find out about a lease buyout option, but rather just a good car deal before this month is out, I'll have something for you at the end. The story on leases we are covering today was sent to us by one of our faithful followers, Felix. Thanks for the heads up on this, Felix. For our audience, there's a paper in Philadelphia known as the Inquirer, not to be confused with the former National Inquirer, which was a tabloid paper. Last month, the Philadelphia Inquirer ran a story about a man's experience being charged a $1,000 lease buyout fee. Just ridiculous, and yes, just illegal. And then several area readers responded by sharing similar stories. The last one will blow your mind. Many of these stories will have details you can relate to if you tried to go back to the dealer you leased your car from to exercise a buyout. Going back to the dealer is not something we recommend that you do, and these stories illustrate perfectly why not. However, even if you have to, just know that you have rights and the law is on your side. The good news, friends, that this doesn't have to happen to you. You do have other options, including legal protections like Liz just mentioned, which we will explain in just a moment. If buying out your lease makes sense, and it most often likely does, today's story can help you. In the first example, Nadine Hughes drove one hour to Reading to buy her 2020 Chevy Equinox off its lease. She took a ride on the Reading. (laughs) (laughs) A dealership there was the closest one she could find that wouldn't tack on additional charges, such as a 449 document fee or a $200 safety inspection fee, she said. A safety inspection fee? What a joke. That's her own car she's buying. You're the one who's been driving the lease vehicle. (laughs) Do you really think you need a safety inspection? Of course not. Dealerships in the Philadelphia area, as well as in Allentown and Bethlehem, all told her that they had to at least charge the document processing fee, which Nadine knew was not mandated by law. Nadine said of the other dealers out there, little did they know I did my homework. Way to go, Nadine. But she added, still, it just frustrated me to no end that they don't understand that people are out here on a strict budget and they just can't afford it. 53-year-old Nadine works as a surgical scheduler at an area hospital and was one of the several readers who responded to the article about the man's experience being charged a $1,000 lease buyout fee. So stupid. The fee disorder that dealers have (laughs) is completely ridiculous. And even some of the better ones have jumped on board in recent years with a shoulder shrug saying, well, everyone else is doing it. Benjamin Sugarman was the man referenced in the initial story. His initial lease agreement stated that there would be no fee if he opted to purchase the 2019 Kia Optima when the lease expired. It's key that it was stated right in the documents, but unfortunately, Ben didn't know his rights and ended up paying the extra fee at a now shuttered Conshohocken dealership because he felt he had no choice. He wanted the car and he couldn't find a dealer that would charge him less. Wow. I believe the dealers in Pennsylvania are taking advantage of customers by imposing these fees and charges that are not in a contractual document like a lease, he told the Inquirer. That's just not okay. I think the same can be said for dealers everywhere, actually. Yes, the trend of charging fees on lease buyouts is not new. Car dealers have long been known to tack on some additional fees for lease buyouts and other transactions. Many dealerships say the same thing. That is what we charge everyone with regard to safety inspections and document fees and such. In recent years, lessees whose three-year contracts have expired or are expiring have much more equity in their vehicles on average than those consumers whose leases expired pre-pandemic. Sure. At the same time, buying a car that is not off a lease is more expensive than ever, and the auto worker strike only adds new uncertainty to this. Elsewhere, lawsuits have been filed on behalf of customers in similar situations, alleging violations of the Consumer Leasing Act, a 1976 federal law that prohibits dealerships from charging fees not disclosed in the original lease agreements. So you see, friends, make sure you read your lease documents. If no fees are listed, do not pay the fees, no matter what the dealer says. It violates the Consumer Leasing Act, a federal law. The Consumer Leasing Act was passed in 1976 to assure that meaningful and accurate disclosure of lease terms are provided to consumers before entering into the contract, like anything else, right? For your convenience, we'll post this act on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. If you are contemplating doing a lease buyout now, download this document, print it off, take it with you. It could save you a lot of money. In the weeks since publicly sharing his experience with buyout fees, Sugarman said he hasn't heard any responses from Kia or any of its dealerships. The dealers Sugarman dealt with did not return requests for comment from the inquirer. Unfortunately, the dealer he did his buyout with is out of business, so it's a little too late to hire a consumer protection attorney. 
and try to get some of that money oh, back. Man. But this dealer did very clearly violate federal law. A Kia spokesman said, while we cannot comment on any fees that dealers may be assessing independently, the buyout price is set forth in each customer's lease agreement. They confirmed Sugarman's understanding that Pennsylvania consumers can only do lease buyouts through licensed dealerships, while New Jersey customers can do so directly through Kia financing. And if your state allows it, that's exactly what we suggest you do. Skip the dealer entirely. Always find out if it's possible to skip the dealer. The Pennsylvania Attorney General's Office said it continues to encourage consumers to report situations in which they believe they were harmed by a business. Brett Hambright from the AG's office said, I cannot comment on active investigations or confirm the existence of investigations. Typical boilerplate response. <laughs> Sugarman said he looked into submitting an online complaint months ago, but he was frustrated as he scrolled through the one-page form, which prompts users to submit a complaint summary, explain how they would like the issue resolved, and upload documentation. It looked like it was going to be a laborious task to submit an official complaint. I just didn't have the time. He tried to call the Attorney General's office to verbally log a complaint, but they said he had to use the online form. You've got to use our online form. <laughs> In response to this, Brett Hambright said, considering the volume of complaints we process, on all matters, the most efficient method to receive complaints is through our online form. In yet another case, Judy Gannister was close to tears as she drove home from Norristown Jeep in April. She'd gone to the dealership to inquire about buying her 2020 Jeep Cherokee off its three-year lease. Her initial lease agreement said she would have to pay a $500 buyout fee if she wanted to purchase the car at the end of the three-year lease according to the paperwork that was reviewed by the inquirer. Gannister said she walked in the dealership earlier that day expecting to pay maybe $1,000 extra in fees when all was said and done. Instead, salespeople at the dealership told her she would be charged an extra $6,000 on top of the $18,000 purchase price. Unreal. I needed to have a car. I didn't want to buy a new car, said Gannister, adding, I feel like I had no recourse. Unbelievably, the salesperson provided her with a draft invoice, which the inquirer <laughs> reviewed. The document broke down the additional charges, including... A $1,995 dealer fee, a $1,495 CPOV charge, perhaps intending to mean certified pre-owned vehicle, like they could just wave a magic wand over it and do that. Right. $299 for a safety check and $299 for security coding. The dealership would also be charging the $449 dealer document fee because they didn't want to leave that on the table. Mm -hmm. The maximum price Pennsylvania dealers are allowed to charge for electronic documentation preparation. That's an unbelievable amount of fees, and it officially earns Norristown Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a spot on our dealer wall of shame. True to character, Norristown Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram did not respond to emails or phone calls seeking comment about these charges. Well, how did Gannister come out in the end? Gannister ended up being able to buy out her vehicle through her leasing company directly with only the $500 buyout fee that was in her initial agreement. Months later, however, she said the experience at the dealership still upsets her. I felt very vulnerable, she said, and I felt taken advantage of. Now I've got something for those of you who watch this show and are just looking for a good month-end deal here in September. We think it's possible to do exactly that. With that in mind, I have several videos that you should binge watch to prepare yourself. They are as follows. Best news for car buyers all year, followed by end of September good car deals could be had at car dealerships. Of course, it always helps to be up to snuff on fees. So go back and watch this one. 11 fake fees do not pay in 2023. And then for those of you who are cash buyers, see these two videos. Don't say I'm paying cash at car dealerships in 2023. That's me and Elizabeth. And finally, cash car buyers can outsmart dealers in 2023 using their own business model. Just remember to use 72 months with this strategy. By the way, anyone wishing to make a donation to show us some love, you can find a link in the description box for our charity that helps children. That's where we'd like to see your support. GiveSendGo.com slash WillistonKidsFirst. Help support our mission to help children. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guide team and our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. And if you just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business, and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.